Hello world. This is Chris Abalo's podcast experiment and I am Chris Abalo. Welcome to the show. Thank you for subscribing to the show wherever you get your podcasts, as well as on YouTube, where you can watch full video episodes of the show. That's right. We're doing that now. And also the best of 2022 video playlist on YouTube. So if you haven't listened to the best of 2022, or you want to revisit some of the funniest moments from last year, you can check that out as well. Thank you for following the show at Cape Pod on, hang on, there's a visual component, Instagram, TikTok, and the aforementioned YouTube. That's right. We got, we're doing some green screening here at a sheer universe bellworks. So I'm trying to like be fancy and just like, it's behind me. So I can tell you like follow at Kate pod. And speaking of a shared universe and bellworks joining me for an overdue one-on-one -on -one show, because it's been too long, too long, too long, way too long. The great Ming Chen What's is up, back, everybody. everybody. Honored to and be back. Honored thank you back. very much. I'm it's very honored weird. to have you Usually here. I'm over there. I, well, that's the thing. The... I, I actually thought about that. I'm like, when's the last time he was on the show? You kind of bookended 2022. You were on the first right. episode yeah. last year yes. that we did in Red Bank. And then yeah. you were on the holiday show. Well, with can't big miss ass the holiday party. show. The holiday show is a blast. I love doing that. Well, you guys um, bring booze. So far. Well, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you, you're a cheap guest. Yeah. <laughs> we can, Ming, there'll be drinks. All right, I'm there. Yeah. Just when? Pretty much. <laughs> like, and then we, we have our own here. You always, we have a, we have a, we're well stocked here as it's, well. Yeah, you know, you got to, the booze flows freely here. Yeah, man. The shared universe. Totally. You know what you're doing. Helps people talk. It does. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not known as a show, social lubricant for nothing. Right. But, um. Anyway, yeah, so it, you were – and then, yeah, you engineered a bunch of episodes last yeah. year as well. Like, so you yeah. were on the other side of the board yeah, and yeah, off totally. camera and just weighing in, yeah. which is great. But I'm like, we talked about doing this uh, at least semi-regularly, which the, if you want to go back and listen to uh, Ming and I – me basically interviewing Ming as an interview guest, you can check out Cape 156. I'll put a link to that in the episode description down below. So if you want to hear Ming's uh, almost entire history and how he ended up yeah, here. It's great. We, You're like, oh, we'll talk maybe 50, 60 minutes. It's, like, <laughs> it's probably two hours, almost two hours. It's two hours and change. Yeah, okay. Uh, as is how it goes with the show. Like I <laughs> – <laughs> I fleece people into doing these Zoom interviews right. and I'm like, let's do an hour interview yeah, and then yeah. they end up being three to five hours. Marathons. Yes. I love it. I know. Love it. But that's it. You get – listen, it's not that hard to get people talking about themselves and that's – there's no judgment attached. I'm just saying when you <laughs> talk to people about a subject they specialize in. That's why podcasting exists. Totally. Everybody. Yes. <laughs> well, that's the funny thing. I used to hesitate even back in 2021 like if the interviews ran a little long. I'm like, eh, I don't know. That might be – you know, two and a half hours is a long show. Now, interview podcast, that's like a standard thing for there yeah, to be a two to much. three hour interview and released as one episode. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I've only broken up a couple of interviews <laughs> into two parters in the history of this show, you, but. You, you think two people for that, uh, Joe Rogan and Kevin Smith, everybody. <laughs> That's true. Yep. There's a lot of them. When I listen to interview shows, so it's very rarely like an hour and change. It's always like yeah, depends two, on the two interview. Though. You got to have does. a good. It does. Good and some interview. of them, I feel like so many of them run out of gas at a certain point. Some are interesting, but a lot right. of times I'm just like, how much time is left? Ugh. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I haven't seen you nearly as much as I wanted to because it used to be on here all the time because you were around. But now no, I'm never it's, home. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's like I've it's joined crazy. custody of you and the convention circuit. Like pretty much. Yeah. I, so so I got to share you. Else. Yeah. That's including it. Including my family, my friends. Uh, yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah, but, Ming is always on the road, which is yeah, awesome. It is awesome. Because I love watching the, the, the road diaries. It is, it it's is pretty awesome. amazing. Yeah. Uh, um, it's already been insane this year. It's going to get totally. crazier too. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Now yeah. everything's – we're as far bounced – back. I'm saying this very in a very clunky way. Okay. But we're as close to like pre-pandemic back to normal as we have been yet. And um, this is probably as I mean, good as it's going to be. I've right? been out there. I've seen the crowds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, we're back. It's full on. Oh, okay. It's back. Yeah, yeah. I had a feeling. So now at least things are happening again. And oh, people yeah. want to go out. Yeah. Like, not only have they been back, but they're multiplying too. So oh, Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody who was like, oh, I think I, I want, I've always wanted to throw a con. They'll, they'll now they're doing the, it. They're throwing the con. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, People who used to have real jobs and now they're like, no, I really want to do this. It's that kind of reassessment yeah. everybody did during the and pandemic. And then the ones that, that were existing, they're like, oh, we're going to go all out now. We're going to spend money on marketing. We're going to get people back. So, right. Which yeah, is cool. awesome. I love it. Yeah. It's literally almost every weekend. I love it. Gone. I think a lot of that stems from, um, you know, there, there was a three month period where like, is this ever coming back? This might yeah. never come back. When, when are we going to be gathering in crowds again? Like yeah, we didn't even no, know if I, we were going to go to the movie theater again, yeah, let no, alone I, a convention. I, I thought that I, I was on a beat up card table in my mm -hmm. living room going like, I don't know if this is ever coming back. Like, right. what a sad life that would be. Like yeah. I, I got, you know, I really like going to conventions, but they might never come back. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. And I was, I was kind of bummed out for a little bit and, and. 
Thanks. So when they did come back, I was like, all right, I'm going to all of them. Right. <laughs> like all of them. Yeah, I get it. Including some far off locations, Ma'am. which is surprising because we obviously lovingly ribbing you about uh, like going to Dubai. How did that even come how do you about? Rib- how do you make fun of me for that? How can we not make fun of We make fun of everybody, especially when they're not here. You know how it goes. Now, how did that – it was just the idea of just like, what's he doing in Dubai? It's Ladies like, oh, and gentlemen, a it's called jealousy. Oh. Yes. So Dubai – Listen, I'm not an Instagram model. I'm not like, greetings from Dubai, no, everybody. <laughs> neither am I, though. I know that. Neither am I. Uh, Dubai came out. Uh, a friend was like, hey, I, 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 I talked to this guy in Dubai. He's mm-hmm. looking for personalities. Right. Artists. Would you be interested? Mm-hmm. And um, we, uh, we were in Houston at the time of convention. I'm like, nice. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> I would like to go to Dubai. Just thinking like, yeah, this will never happen. Like, right, you know, this right. is probably a thought in someone's head. And I'm like, ah, oh, this would be cool. And then it never happened. So I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, uh, I was like, you know where to find me if it happens. And lo and behold, they started setting it up, started setting it up. And then one day they're like, hey, uh, you know, here's the contract, sign this. Right. And, um, and you're in. And, uh, so my idea of a kind of Dubai was like, oh, they're just going to throw money at it, right? And, and <laughs> if you looked at the website, it mm-hmm. looked like they were throwing money at it. So they they booked Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Uh, oh, really? Thor, you know, he got, who you know better known as Thor right. from the Avengers. And he's he's probably got a decent price tag attached to him. Yeah, so they you're had, like, um, well. They had the dude from uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the bad guy. I think Julian Glover is his name. He's the, you know. You I, see, chosen, I can picture him. Yeah, I can't think of his old name. Dude, but, yeah, right, right. You've chosen poorly and he, he disintegrates. <laughs> um, he also plays Meister Picel in uh, Game of Thrones. He's kind of oh, like right, the, right. the old creepy, like, Meister. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had him. They had some people from Stranger Things. Uh, Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones. Right, right. come out. They had this huge guest list. So I was like, all right, they're throwing money at this thing. We're, yeah. we're going to be all set up. And... Um, the con was, I think, November 9th to the 11th or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so I'm, I'm when I'm like, hey, they're like, they're going to book your flight soon. And this was September, mm-hmm. then October, then bef- uh, early November. I'm like, hey, so that flight, they're like, no, 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 they're, they're going to book it. They're going to book it. <laughs> um, November 7th, no flight yet. So, and, you know, oh so it's a fly out, like maybe, you know, in it, or to get there on time, the, you know, the 8th maybe. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess this isn't this isn't happening. And um, you know, and I and I wasn't questioning it. I'm like, okay, it's, right. I, it's like, all right, I knew this was going to happen. But you'd already signed a contract for sure. it, though. So that that is, you know, con- they're meaningless. Well, they're meaningless. No, they're they're <laughs> not. Especially these convention contracts are they're very. Is that right? Very just, just this side of toilet paper. Very. I mean, you know, if you want it, want them to be binding, you got to sue sue them. And like, when I sue them? I'm not really suing. You know, yeah, exactly. Really I'm going to sue whoever this dude for, is. Yeah, it's like, I didn't get my free trip to Dubai. I'm <laughs> going to sue you. <laughs> um, finally, I wake up on the 8th mm-hmm. and they're like, hey, they booked your flight. You're leaving tonight. So I was kind of ready to go anyways, <laughs> but in my head. Like, kind of rinky dig con are they running? <laughs> we're not going. And um, Was it like, were you even with the luggage or something? Like, no, how did they even it get was a, it? It was a was flight it on Emirates flight? Airlines. It was a, oh, okay. you know, it wasn't like in a pod or it wasn't business class. Well, but yeah. I didn't care at that point. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I guess I'm going now. So I'm scrambling, <laughs> packing. You know, my wife's like, are you going? I'm like, yeah, I guess I'm going. Apparently, and, yeah. And, you know, I'm just kind of taking care of things here to be gone for like six days. So, right. And, um. Yeah, to get myself to JFK, but mm. yeah, uh, and suddenly I'm on. You know, it was a legit flight. It worked. The ticket scanned. <laughs> that would have been, uh, been amazing if you my, showed up and they're just my like, passport. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, all of a sudden I'm on a flight to Dubai. So it was that was that part was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I land. It took uh, I think twelve and a half hours to get there. Nice. But Emirates Airlines take care of you pretty well. Yeah, they, cool. They, they feed you. So it was direct. You didn't even have to. Yep. Lay no, it was direct. Yep, it was direct. Wow. Yeah. It was direct. So, and uh, yeah, I, I land, my bag spits out. <laughs> cool. There's a ride for me there to the hotel. And I think I, I really? land, it's like 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. by the time I got there. So, but, um, and I think they're like nine hours ahead. So, you know, you're all kind of like. Yeah, your your body clock is all jacked right, up. Right, but I'm ready to party, man. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's you like, know, you know I'm doing. in Dubai. Yeah. So like, they, where are the um, dive bars? Do you guys have dive bars? Are there dive bars in Dubai? Because that's uh, kind of my thing. Yes, they are. Yeah. Of course there well, are. Well, lot of, yeah. But we'll, who's we'll, to know until we'll, you get there? We'll get to the bars because yes. most people are like, there are no bars in Dubai, right? I'm like, oh, there, there are. I found them. <laughs> and uh, it was cool. They put us up at this in place. In 21st called, century Dubai, I'm sure there's plenty of bars. Like maybe yes, yes, once there are. Know, like Dubai is like a major like 
international it's, hub now. I it mean, is, yeah. yeah. But still, it's a, it's a Middle Eastern country. So oh, right. So, they got rules. so you don't know. Yeah, of course. They got rules, or so you think. Well, we'll, get, we'll get to that. Oh, please. Yes. I'm um, here for it. Yeah. So it uh, stayed at a pretty sweet place. Uh, if you looked at Dubai, they made like man-made islands and peninsulas. So there's one. It's called the Palm. It's in the shape of a palm tree. And that's where <laughs> we stayed. There's a, there a, there a hotel, pretty well-known uh, luxury chain called The Atlantis. Mm-hmm. They're on like the Palmas or like they're, they're, they're opulent. <laughs> so we were at the Palm Atlantis. Right. Know, it was, you know, you're pulling up like, whoa, this is. Yeah. Like, oh, this, this is, pretty, this is legit. I realized I only found sweet. out 11 hours before I had to be yeah, at JFK. But I, but I get in there, they have a reservation for me. So that's good. So I right. got a flight, I got, I got a hotel room, mm-hmm. throw my stuff in there. The room is awesome. And then sweet. I'm like, all right, let's, what's, what's the first thing you do? I went down and, uh, I. I'm like, all right, it's it's late. Is anything open? And what you learn, what's great about Dubai, they're a late night society. Oh, so they don't start even on the place. weekdays. Mm-hmm. Everything's open until three in the morning. Even on like a like a Sunday Monday night. Awesome. Because people in Dubai start like they have dinner at nine p.m. and then they go out after. You know how we would eat at five or six, right? And then we well, would, how normal people eat. Yeah, then we would you go and I are on different clock. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. No, okay. Other people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And normal people eat dinner at like six. Right. But okay. Yes. Like, let's say majority of Americans eat yeah. at five or six. Right. There, the standard is like nine p.m. is dinner time. Yeah. Then you know, if you were to go out, you, you know, you go to a movie or whatever at you right. know, seven or eight, or maybe you go meet your friend for a drink after dinner. Yeah. They don't start till that until ten, eleven, midnight, <sighs> even on the weekdays. That's awesome. So even most of the restaurants were open like super late, mm-hmm. and. Um, so my my thing was, I know there's all this other stuff here, you know, tourist attractions or whatever, but I wanted to hang out with the locals, hang out. And uh, the locals hang out at chai tea shops. They're really? all over. Yeah, they're like chai tea and, and like snacks or like sandwiches. Oh, cool. So I found so like this, coffee shops around here, but there it's, it's but, more but chai they're, tea. They're open until three in the morning. And, right, uh, well. Yeah, they have this tea. It's called Kairok Chai. Like that's – it's a, it's just a really strong black tea with a mm-hmm. bunch of sugar and milk in it. That it's, sounds awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm in. Yeah, so I found this one called like the Dream Cafe. I had an Uber. They have Uber over there. So of course. Uber, like of course. 15 minutes outside of where I was. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, there I was. So I'm hanging out with like Uber drivers and like late, you know, late night working people. Mm-hmm. Which is – which is the dream. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like little, these are who I'm here for. Yeah. It's a little cup of chai tea for, it's like, like a buck 50. Wow. And uh, yeah, I got like some kind of weird chicken sandwich and I'm just <laughs> hanging out and taking selfies and mm-hmm. I'm looking mm-hmm. around and it hits you. It's like, I'm in the Middle East. Like, right. I'm in Dubai. I'm it's, way the hell away from the Garden State. Yeah. That's but crazy. you know, so I'm doing research on my phone. I was like, well, where do I go next? And I find there's a hidden bar on the way back to the hotel. And uh, it was, yeah, it was, it was cool. You, you oh, would have loved it. And they had this like Dude. LED wall like you, and uh, there's a DJ. Next year, I'm going with you even if I'm not invited. I'll yeah. book my own damn flight just yeah. to be like, I'm gonna I'm here as Ming's assistant. I'm yeah. an unpaid but intern. More importantly, <laughs> though, there's alcohol. So well, yeah. The perception of, you know, Middle Eastern country is um, you're not allowed to drink. Right. Or very strict. It's very, ri- very limited. Buttoned up society. Yeah. Right. Or it's only reserved or, you know, you, you just, you don't drink. But mm. in Dubai, <laughs> they got bars. They got, right. they got really cool bars. You know, it's nice. Dubai. Right. Of so, course, it's a, major, it's a major city. It's become like this major hub, yeah. major international destination. Yeah. That, so I found a little underground time. speakeasy. There's, mm-hmm. a, there's a really great female DJ spinning. There's mm-hmm. a cocktail menu. So I get down there. I have a drink. And now, yeah, at this point, it's maybe 10 or 11. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got I have a friend coming in at like midnight. So I was like, I have a drink nice. here. I'll meet him over at midnight. And um, yeah, he, he ends up getting there. Uh, if you watch Walking Dead, his name is uh, Ross Marquand. Uh, he yeah, plays, he's one of your friends. He plays one, of your, a, one of your favorite hangs. Yeah, for, plays for the a concert. Character called named Aaron Walking Dead. Uh, he played the Red Skull. He was Red and, Skull in Infinity War and, and Endgame. Endgame. Yeah, yeah. He replaced um, um, what's his nose who didn't want to do uh, it anymore. Hugh, uh, whatever uh, the yeah V from Mr. V from Mr. Anderson. That yeah, guy that's from it. The, Mr. The, Anderson. The, yeah, the what's Matrix, Mr. Smith? What's his? I, I'm drawing a blank. Hugo Weaving. That's Hugo, not Harry. Hugo. Yeah, I was. It was in there. I just couldn't. Thank you. Good pull, but uh, I'm waiting for Ross to come in. So right. yeah, he 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 gets there. We go to the hotel bar. There's more alcohol. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. Was oh my god! Cool. So we're you know we're just we're just hanging out until like two three in the morning there. Okay, now I am gonna cop to being jealous now. Yeah. Now I get it. I mean, now you I'm, should I'm not be. So, I'm, gonna, I'm not sorry. I made jokes at the time. Yeah, but, no, I'm. But it was in I'm your in, defense because you you fired back on a dude on Twitter, which was hilarious. 
which we, I pointed out on the show because I was just like, you know, because you're everybody's friend sure. in, in, in a great way, though. Like Absolutely. you're very much like, hey, like you just are open with people, super friendly. Yes. And this jackass on Twitter tweeted out like, oh, you're there to like, you know, be like some sultan is, you know, to hire you to, to service him or something like that. Yeah. And you were like, no, your mother flew me here. And she said to tell you a huge disappointment, yes. which is so out of character yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah. We were laughing about no, it I, I, because you, we're just like, wow, Ming is, isn't the type to like hit back. But I, goddamn, I, did I, he? That's funny you remember that because I barely remember that. <laughs> I do, remember posting. Of course, it's but. yeah, no, it's it's a clip on yeah. on TikTok and Instagram, yeah, um, well, because it was it, it's no, I I can't blame you for <laughs> hey, doing man. it, but like we like you're not the type, like you're just so friendly with everybody. It was just like good for me. I back. love like, like I gotta do buy like how do you how do you even try to make fun of me for that? You know, no, oh, I agree. Right? Well, there was like you like, know, you can't. Like, we're just like yeah. oh, what's this? You know, like a con in Dubai? I don't yeah. know. Like no, it I sounds like to, something like, that could go sideways. No, I saw that. I was like popped in my head. I'm posting that. Screw that guy, like. dude. That was really <laughs> funny. No, it was. It was. That was. A, that was a brilliant comeback too. Yeah. And it, again, it was just out of character. From just like, wow, we don't know that side of Ming. It was great to see it. No, yeah, it was cool. I love you it. know, the next morning you wake up and you know it's super early. So my, I'm all my my clock is all screwed up. Oh my and god, I, yeah, that must have. I go out into the balcony at the you know I'm looking mm-hmm. around. You can see like Dubai in front of you. Yeah, and I, the, I just, the I pictures did. were nuts. That's yeah, why I'm I, looking. I'm like, okay, I was. Yeah, again, like, all right, I'm I'm here making jokes, but I'm like, this this looks really, really legit. Yeah, which is crazy that like the flight didn't come in until the day you had to leave. Like, yeah, it seemed like this stuff was pretty well planned. In as much as there was a it, ride it, waiting for you, there's it, a hotel booked. It I was mean, not well planned. It was not well planned. <laughs> okay. So, um, so what actually happened? It was cool. Uh, so wait, you you came in just to make sure I have the timeline right. So you come in the day before day one of the con. It was supposed to start on Thursday. Okay. And they had asked me to come in and like a lot of people weren't getting there Thursday, but they're like, right. hey, this is like Dubai's kids day. All the kids are going to come out on Thursday ah, because there's a, like a holiday after or something. Mm-hmm. Will you come early to, I don't know, entertain the kids or something or just. I guess. Cool. Day like, off yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. And I would have been there Thursday if they bought my ticket. Oh, okay. So you get in <laughs> Thursday night and you're there for Friday, Thursday Saturday, night. Sunday. Yeah. Okay. So I'm there in plenty of time for the actual con. Right. Um, so it's going to wake up. Um I'm, so, I'm going to name drop all episodes. Go ahead. Just Do I it. Can. Do it. I get a text from uh, Sean Kanan, who plays Mike Barnes mm-hmm. from Credit Kid 3. Right. Cobra, he's now in Cobra Kai. Mm-hmm. Um, he's in Young and the Restless and um, that he started out. But he's, you know, Mike Barnes, a bad boy karate. Right. We met at a kind of Albuquerque a year or so ago. And we were, you know, be leading up like, dude, are you going to Dubai? Yeah, me too. See you there, brother. <laughs> and he texted me. He's like, hey, are you up? We're having breakfast downstairs. Like you should come join us. I'm like, all right, I'm I'm starving. So mm. I went and the, the breakfast spread is like awesome. <laughs> they have like cuisine from every country. And this is just breakfast, really? but like if Damn. you wanted like like Japanese food, like mm-hmm. Middle Eastern, uh Chinese like food from like every really? region. Then they have this like ridiculous birthday uh break, uh like dessert thing. So there's like oh, macaroons of every color, like like just Jesus everywhere there, there's like juice, like fresh juices. <laughs> like it, I was like, man, I wish breakfast was like every day. Right? Why can't hotels in America need to get on yeah, this? Yeah, they're like, no, you're, no, eat. You're lucky if you get a box of mixed donuts. Oh no, it wasn't that. It was <laughs> That's like, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Like so you got you got to be the Comfort Inn somewhere in you know Kansas, and you're like, wait a minute, this is continental breakfast. That's yeah. included in my room. Yeah. Meanwhile. But, yeah, but I'm down there with him. I'm like, oh man, this is awesome, man. This is gonna mm-hmm. be this is gonna be great. Like, welcome. Like, this is we're in Dubai, dude. Like, right? Uh, <laughs> it was cool. So, I, so and, and they had this big giant pool. I jumped in there for a little bit. Mm-hmm. It was cool. But then I was like, hey, when does when are the hours of the convention? And they're like, well, it starts at ten, and it ends at ten. I was like, wow, those are pretty long hours. That's uh, a day, man. Uh, you know, in America, like a Friday. The Friday, the kind of people are working. So it'll maybe start at 3 mm. and at 8. Saturday, it'll start at 10 and end at 6 or 7. Right. Sunday, it'll start maybe 10 and end at, always ends at 5 on a Sunday because right. it's Sunday. Yeah. But I'm like, wait, 10 to 10 every day? They're like, yeah. Like even Sunday? They're like, oh, yeah. It's going to end at 10. On <laughs> no unions in Dubai, huh? <laughs> Sunday. I'm like, wow, <laughs> no, that's. People having to set up the electrical. That's and the unusual. And that. yeah. But, you know, this is what they flew me out here for. It's like, all right, 10. All right, I'll get there. I guess I'll get there at 10. Mm-hmm. I get there at 10, it's dead. There's no one there. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, um, but uh, I was like, okay, cool. Uh, but I get to, they show me my booth. And I don't know if you saw the picture of it. I, I don't remember it all. It fan. looks like a little studio apartment. It's like a, <laughs> so usually I kind of get like a table. And right. Like a, ba- like a, a you got a Dropbox box me photo so I can plug it into the, oh, the video episode. Yeah. But so this thing can looks see. like, it looks like a, like a, like a stand, like a stall. It's like a 
20 by 20. Oh my God. Thing. It's got like a roof. Wow. Like four pillars and, and like a wall. I was like, whoa, this is cool. And they put, like, they, they stenciled my name on, on the sides. Wow, man. I was like, all right. Bigger than is... my apartment was in Burbank. Yeah, no, it probably it's was. It probably, probably was. was. Sounds yeah. like it. Yeah, I was like, whoa, this is cool. I was like, all right. So you know, I start setting up, but there's no one there. And, uh, you know, it's like, you know, I'm, I wait 11, 12, 1. There's, you know, it's pretty thin. And I'm like, hey, where where is everybody? Like, oh, well, it's <laughs> Dubai. Like, people here usually don't wake up until 1 or 2. They get ready. Like, for stuff like this, they won't be here till like, 4 or 5 o'clock. That's why it's open till 10. I'm like, oh. Then why the hell did we get here at 10? <laughs> right. Because <laughs> like, I'm but... used to, you know, one, I'm, you know, I don't like to be late. Of course. If that's the hours. Yeah. Um, and, and two, you know, I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, there's no reason. I'm not rolling at a four. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. getting there when they, when it, the thing starts, right? But yeah, it turns out I didn't have to. So <laughs> I was like, yeah. half the day was cool. I got, I met all the other vendors and mm-hmm. stuff. They were there, but you know, they were And your friends were there. Like everybody showed up, all the, all the guests. They were there were too. There yeah, yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all, yeah, all you was, had breakfast and went yeah. straight over to the. Yeah, condoms. that was, that was cool. Now, you know, my biggest fear though was uh, I'm going to Dubai. We've never aired there. Mm. Um, and so I'm like, does anybody know who the hell I am here? <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, I mean, they, they it's like, do they have Prime yeah, or do they have AMC they, Plus? Somehow they I mean, sold me that I was a cool guy, so the kind right. of like, yeah, hey, I will take him. Nice, but you know, I, your biggest fear is that you go there, and nobody cares. Yeah, anywhere that's, yeah, that would that, that would bruise my ego bad if I went yeah. to a con and just like booth this. Anywhere else no is line. fine, but a con where you're listed as a guest, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but um, the first person that came up to say hi was all decked out in tell him Steve Dave gear. <laughs> The, wow. You know, the podcast right, occasionally right. I'm on, I, uh, I got made fun of. Tell Steve is kind of the basis for a comic book man if you right. ever watch that show. And uh, it's it's a very popular podcast mm-hmm. in America. You know, we don't, we don't know the reach elsewhere. Yeah. But immediately, you know, somebody who is a big fan of, you know, not only comic book man, but the, the podcast has a very rapid following. Yeah. All yeah. decked out. I was like, okay, I guess I'm good here then. And um, so, yeah. Pe- so, indeed, people who went there did know who I was. So... The country is full of expatriates. Like no one's really ah, gotcha. from Dubai. Mm-hmm. People are from out, you know, wherever. And they're like, oh, I'm going to go live in Dubai. For it a sounds bit. like Vegas. <laughs> it's it's like, very much that's like, what it sounds like. Very much like Vegas. <laughs> it's like everybody wakes up in the afternoon. The nights start late. Yeah. Nobody's from there. It sounds like very Vegas. Very much like Vegas, but without- Vegas of the Middle East. Without much of the sin. So- yeah, Ah, well, yeah. yeah this is yeah. certain- <laughs> Yeah, so it's cultural pretty, yeah, so it was pretty cool. I met, yeah, met a lot of cool people. Mm. And, so did um, the big, like, did the Stranger Things cast and, like, Chris Hemsworth, like, was everybody else there who was supposed to be there? Like, no. did it? <laughs> so uh, Chris Hemsworth was there. Um, for, like, a day, like, for four hours. A lot like. of the listed, the big list of celebrities didn't end up showing up because mm. they, their flights were never bought for them. <laughs> so it's usually a bad sign. I mean, yeah, yeah. Usually a bad sign. Usually when your flights don't get bought for you, like, in a reasonable time. It means a con didn't have the money to do it. Yeah. Like uh, well, they didn't, and in the yeah. At the same time, like if you know, you your flight was booked later because they're going for the you know higher tier guests, so to speak. Right. You would think like, well, we take care of them first. We yeah. need to make sure that the, the headliners yeah. and are taken care of. Relatively, you know, my flight was really cheap because I think all the other big, you know, they need either first class, totally, or business, or business class. class. Yeah. First class from the U.S. from say JFK mm-hmm. is twenty grand round trip. Holy Christ! Yeah, wow. And that's the one. If you go on YouTube, like this is what first class on Emirates looks like. Mm-hmm. It's like you the big uh, it looks oh, like yeah, an apartment. It, it does. There's yeah. a shower. <laughs> you can shower on the plane, <laughs> and then you got you know you get like there's champagne. And, mm-hmm. like, yeah. I mean, for twelve hours though, like I kind of I'm not going to say it justifies the oh, outrageous dude. price tag, but. It sounds great considering Dude, I'd rather sit on that than at home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, or like, anywhere. I could live on this plane. Right. Is it like working a cruise ship? You know, like people go out for like, you know, six months working oh, a cruise ship. Oh, gig get this. And, so okay. business class is seven grand. So a little more reasonable. Uh, a little more reasonable. Expensive. Yeah. But the business class, there's a bar on the plane. It's an open bar. Oh. Fuck. And you can just go they want people to leave their pod and go hang out there, mm-hmm. meet people or hang out with their friends. Oh my they, God. Yeah. I'm There's start, legit a bar. I'm going to start saving now. So if you get invited back next to yeah. would you go again? Wait, oh, I know we're still yeah. going through. Oh, okay. Oh, all yeah. right. All right. Good. Even you just know, for the party. Heartbeat. Forget the con. Like a heartbeat. And now you, know, you, know, yeah. you don't need to show up till 4 p.m. Yeah, so there's but, that. But the con's cool. But mm-hmm. I know it's like half the guests didn't show up. Right. And I'm like, right. all right. And it's very unorganized. I think mm. I had a panel listed on the schedule. I could not find the room. <laughs> I did not know where was the it. Was it like a convention? Like what was the venue? Convention no, it was center? A convention kind of hall. Yeah. It, I think they built it. It was called the Dubai Expo Center. I think they oh, okay. built it for 
like their version of like a World's Fair type thing. Okay, and gotcha. then like all the structures were still there. So okay, they, so they it wasn't event space. There. It wasn't. Oh yeah, like some. Time. It wasn't like some dudes. No, it wasn't like a barn or, <laughs> or something. like a like a high school gym or no, something. No, which you know, would have been fine. But yeah, right, but legit expo space. But there was. I'm like, where is this room? I'm supposed to be there mm-hmm. in like an hour. Like we don't know, and nobody knows. So. <laughs> I'm wondering. I can't find the room. Mm-hmm. I didn't find the room till the next day. So it was this weird <laughs> hidden room that, like, I, that I didn't find until it was too late. So I don't know wow. if anyone showed up for my panel and tried to find me, but nobody, nobody took me over. So well, we're straightening it out now because, as revealed in the first episode of this year, Cape Two Twenty One, yeah, because we were doing a breakdown of the states uh, where Cape is most popular in right. the U.S. and then countries, which I was surprised okay. by. India's number two, nice behind the U.S. Okay, so people in Dubai who may not have seen Comic Book Man right. are getting a, a at least an earful of you. I yeah. don't know if they're able to see this on YouTube or not. Yeah, but um, and yeah. same with Cape One Fifty Six. So like, if you want more Ming and if you want to show up at his booth, hopefully this November, and maybe you'll see me there. You'll probably see me there. Yeah, I'll sneak into one of your bags. But like, what? Search so an oversized bag. I'll pay the fifty bucks. It's okay. Yeah, I'm mean, holding fun, my breath. <laughs> yeah, but it was a fun day. Hours. But like, we stayed till ten at night, and right? Then, uh, it of was kind of late. And then I was like, all right, you know, we, we go. I found a cool place for dinner, and mm-hmm. then trying to get everyone to come out. I found out I, 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 I was trying to hit like two or three like hidden, more hidden bars, yeah, or something, and um, uh, no one to come with me. So I was like, well, screw you. I'm not staying at the hotel. Like you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank God for Uber. Like they're all over the, you know, they're everywhere. Worldwide. Yeah, man. They've, you know, uh, Uber and Lyft have like made my life so much better. Oh, I'll bet. Cause you can get anywhere like at the, you know, within f- like mm-hmm. five minutes, there's a car will pull up and totally take you to where, wherever. It's, it's weird to think how spoiled we're, it's funny, like literally driving to the studio. This is a little bit of a tangent, yeah. but I was thinking about this today. So back in 2007, uh, the, during the LA years, volume one for me, Yes, I, uh, was on a leave of absence from school Okay, and I was just working full time just okay. for the sake of keeping my head above water in LA. And now this is pre Uber, pre Lyft. Like they kind of started popping like 2013 shortly yeah, after 13, I moved 14, back. Yeah. yeah. And that's when they were, but that's when Lyft had the big pink mustaches on the front. Like they'd right. be on the grill. Like yeah, that was that, where like, what are those pink mustache cars oh, yeah, about? The, those got, those got, uh, those like, you can't do that. Yeah. Anymore. Not, yeah. yeah. Well, I think people were jacking them too. Like I think oh, Lyft was right, giving them out right. and then people okay. were just like, I'm stealing that car stash. Good point. But um, anyway, so what happened was I had submitted, I'm, I'm a big fan of the band, the Donnas. Yes. And if I could snap my fingers and reunite a band where all the members are still the around, Donna's. I would nice. do it. Yes, that 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 would be my choice. I'm listening to them on the drive here today. Right. And all I right. remember listening right. to the- Queen, Led Zeppelin, The Doors, but okay. Well, I mean, but, they're, <laughs> but they got I'm dead kidding. members. <laughs> like I, It's a different conversation. We're talking about like you can resurrect a member of a band. Oh, okay. I'm okay. saying all the members are alive, okay. but they're no okay. longer together. Oh, and I know Tori, the drummer, has, has issues um, you know, um, some, where she can't sure, play sure, drums sure. as well, but yep. like I would love to have that band. Get back together. Anyway, so I was – they were doing kind of like an open casting call for extras for their video for Don't Wait Up For Me. And so I submitted like a link to my MySpace or something like that. I'm not even kidding because they were like, send us a photo because they're still – you're still being cast for looks, let's be honest. Um, And I got cast in the thing and they were like, you need to be at this place and whatever part in LA. And and at that time, I was living in Burbank as well. I just moved there. And uh, I had to work my day job the next day. And the problem was, and again, I was just thinking about this in the car because as the song is playing and I hadn't thought about this again, this is 16 years ago. Okay. So it just kind of came back to me. I'm like, man, the problem was like, now it would have been rough for me to miss a day's pay from work. At sure. that time, it would have been yeah. like, Ugh, well, that would have been rough. Donna's to be in their video. But, but it was totally also, I had to take like a daisy chain of buses and it would have been two hours on the bus and I would have had to catch the bus at like 5 a.m. <laughs> and then be on a bus for two hours Welcome to get to, to LA. the studio. Public to, transportation. Exactly. It exactly. Sucks. It it's does awful. suck. And I was thinking like, you know, if Uber or Lyft existed, I would have called out of work and it would have, you know, cost me. I mean, it wasn't getting, you were an unpaid extra, but I'm like, I get to be in fucking Donna's music video. Yeah, and well, it was you, their last studio album yeah, as it turns like out. Yeah, like $13, you could have been there like in- Totally. Like and I could have been in the video forever. <laughs> right. I, I could have been an, an extra, right. I mean, whether I would have been seen or not, who cares, but I would have been there. Yeah. And I was thinking about that. I'm like, damn it. I If Uber and Lyft had existed, I would have at least been in that video, which just for me, not for the sake of like it comes with any, you know. Uh, there's no cool cachet that comes with like, I was extras in video for the Donnas. But I thought about that for the first time in years. Like, damn it, I could have been that video if cool. Uber Lyft had existed. But it's it cool. would have been a long day. Because it was, yeah, it was like a 10-hour day. It was like oh. a shoot from like 7 to 5 or right. something. Because it's music videos. So yep. They're going to be there. They're shooting it in a day. Yep. 
Anyway, I was having that exact thought on the way here. I'm yeah. like, we are so spoiled by the fact that we have Uber and Lyft and yeah, all these totally. other services. It's like it's made things so much easier. Cause, yeah, uh, uh, but I, I had heard about this uh, underground bar called the Electric Pawn Shop. And, oh, that's um, an amazing name. Yeah, and I saw the photos look amazing. And so, yeah, I, I ended up going over there. Um, and it was like we had dinner, so uh, it was like 1 in the morning, but mm-hmm. they're still going. Like nice. there's people partying in there. So I just roll up to the bar, order a cocktail, make friends with the bartender. Sweet. Um, yeah, meet a bunch of other people, start asking about the owner. And he was like, oh, man, she's not here today. But, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow I'm start. You know, I'm posting photos on Instagram. Nice. I'm tagging them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I, I have a great night. And, you know, even though sometimes you got to go by yourself. It's of course. Not a bad yeah, thing you you make... don't want to wait on everybody else. You yeah. don't, and I've said that to people before, too. Like, I've, people used to think it was weird. Like, I went, I'd go to the movies by myself. Yeah. Like our friend Ryan. Like, yep. he was just like, you could go to the movies by yourself. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to miss out on seeing a movie in the no, theater because exactly. I can't get together with a bunch of friends. Right. Like, I, I'm going to go. Now he goes to the movies by himself all the time and he loves it because yep. he's like, I'm not missing anything. It's great. And sometimes yeah, there, there's I get a time like, I'm not going to go by yeah. myself. Like, but, or, you know, your friend's like, oh, I don't feel like going. I like, oh, I guess I'll stay back too. Exactly. But you're and like, don't miss out on a good time because it. nobody wants to go. Yeah. You regret yeah. it. It's like, just go. So, yeah, my rule now is like, hey, I'm going to go. This place is, looks cool. If you want to come, awesome. I totally. would love it. I'll buy you a drink if you come with me. If you don't want to go, okay, no, no big deal. I'm right. still going to go. But I'm not going to forego my good time right. because yeah. nobody's down. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm the same yeah, way. Exactly. So yeah, pl- place was great though. So I, I was so happy nice. I went. And um, yeah, shortly after they saw my post, so we started talking on Instagram. With mm-hmm. the, I was t- talking with uh, the owner. He's like, "Oh, thanks for coming in. I'm glad you loved the place. Please come back anytime. I, I you know, I'd love to meet you. I'll be there tomorrow night uh, at this time." And uh, so, yeah, later on, I, I ended up going back, uh, met the two owners. Cool. Uh, it was great. The uh, the main female owner, there, there were two of them. Uh, the female and the male, they're part business partners. Mm-hmm. Uh, the male, he was really into DJing. So kind of built this place so he could DJ at his own place. Right. And then invite other cool DJs as well. <laughs> That's a- um, yeah, the, the, uh, the other woman had a even more interesting story. I really? Guess she had a bar in... I can't remember it was like Tel Aviv or somewhere in Israel. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if anybody recalls this, but uh, a couple of years ago, there was this weird, mysterious explosion there. I think there was a bunch of fertilizer or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. material. Mm-hmm. Something combusted. Yeah. It like combusted it wasn't. And it, and it raised like, I don't know, three, five blocks, like this yeah, wide area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember so that. So I was like, well, what's your background? She's like, well, I had a bar in Tel Aviv. And I don't know if you remember that explosion, but I was there when it happened. Mm-hmm. And, you know, luckily I didn't get hurt, but my bar got like- Like decimated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. I'm like, oh, holy man. crap. How did Fuck. you, expl- uh, you know, how did you not get hurt? She's like, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. It was kind of a miracle. Yeah. But after that, Damn. she was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to move to Dubai and start all over. <laughs> right. And, and she did. I was like, wow, what a, what a great story. Mm. And uh, so, it's, yeah. It does sound like Vegas. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to move here and start Yeah. <laughs> but what I love is I love finding cool places and then meeting the people mm-hmm. who started them. And then finding out why and what their background is and getting their stories, making friends with them. Yeah. Everyone's got a story. Yeah, it's, for you know, sure. Everybody's got something like that. For sure. And she's like, hey, about. when are you leaving? I was like, oh, I'm leaving late Monday night. She's like, hey, if you can make it here like early before you leave, we're, we're doing this thing called Red Monday. It's a bunch of like artists and creators coming in and just hanging out. It's mm-hmm. like kind of like a meetup. Oh, uh, it's called Red Monday. because Networking by, event. <laughs> yeah. It's called Red Monday. It's, just, it's sponsored by Red Bull. I'm like, dude, I would love to come to that. Um, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm mm-hmm. leaving at like midnight Monday. But my, maybe I roll by at 7. Right. Or mm-hmm. whenever you start up, I'll, I can stay for a couple hours. So, mm-hmm. yeah. But, yeah, that was yeah, that was That's cool. cool. But it was very Yeah, cool. just kind of ate and drank around Dubai mm-hmm. late at night. Yeah. Which was, which was really cool. Yeah, find a lot of cool bars. Um, that's, that's very cool. Yeah, the, I mean, yeah, the con the con was cool. Um, not as many people as I thought there was going to be. Right, little or, unorganized. Um, but the experience all around was the real takeaway from it. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah you got to sure. go to Dubai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to hang out with friends. You got to see friends from the con circuit. Um, yeah, I met, met a lot a of, people. of people. I met yeah. people from uh, made friends with a bunch of dudes from Kuwait. Nice, and it was cool. They were like, "Man, you're you're our brother, man. You're oh, our brother. We, awesome. you know, we love comic book men. <laughs> so you should come to Kuwait, but you know, if you come there, you're our brother, man. We'll take care of you." It was, it was really cool. I've seen some. I've seen uh, someone seems to have uh, the complete series of, of comic book men. It seems to be floating around there somewhere at conventions. Oh, are, sure. Are the, uh, if, uh, if you happen to find one, are they region free? Yes, they are. All right. Well, yes. listen. If anyone wants to get into I, comic book men, they're region free. If you happen to find them at a con. 
yeah. um, if you happen to. Yeah, don't ask me how I know that, but yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I've, listen, sure. I've, I've seen pictures. <laughs> I know nothing about it. I don't, I, listen, I, yeah, I've met a I'm lot of cool convention. people. I made, yeah, made a lot of cool new friends. Um, so Sunday ends at 10. Mm -hmm. I stay, I stayed till like nine. Right. I'm not staying till 10. I stayed till like nine. But a lot of people who are volunteering at the convention, who are locals, mm -hmm. like, hey, we're, we're going to this, we're going to this place. It's, it's a, di it's a dive bar. <laughs> You're like, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. You've come like, to the right person. Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, you know, we're gonna, you know, we're just gonna like kind of celebrate the end of the convention. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, you guys party on a Sunday night? Cool, man. <laughs> cool. So yeah, I ended up meeting them over there. So it wasn't a dive bar. Ah, okay. It was like a country their version of like a country western. Oh, right. it's like a bar. saloon. <laughs> yeah, but it was like two <laughs> levels. But yeah, not um re LA, remember the Saddle Ranch? Oh Shop yeah, yeah of Sunset? course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that. Oh, so man. I, you, like you wouldn't call that a dive bar, right? No, like not a, at all. It's, it's like a country bar. Yeah, yeah. So it was kind of it's like, a themed bar. It's, it's not like bar. it's not a dive, but maybe yeah. for them because it's not. Yeah, because it's kind of co-opting yeah. another culture. Maybe yeah. they look at it yeah. just like ah, oh, it's a dive bar. Yeah, but I cannot remember the name, but it had a like a kind of like a whiskey mm -hmm. whatever theme. Like a, it was a country themed name. Right, right. And I get in there. It's two two stories. DJs bumping music. <laughs> tons <laughs> of people in there. And I'm like, whoa, man, this is. This is a Sunday night in Dubai. This is amazing. I know, but this is <laughs> – so going over there, mm. Middle Eastern country, never been – you know, you you read about the restrictions. Mm -hmm. You don't want to offend anybody. You don't want to get kicked out. You don't want to get arrested. You don't want to get reprimanded. So I read all the do's and don'ts. Don't touch women even with permission. Right. Um, you know uh, – if you're not married to a woman, like don't show too much affection. Mm. I definitely can't stay in the same hotel room if right. you're not married. All the, all the kind of the, 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 the social right. contract, so uh, to speak. And then, you know, the women dress conservatively. Mm -hmm. um, do not be drunk in public no matter <laughs> what. That's, you know, that's a big thing. I feel like this is like the Pirate's Code in the Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean movies. There's more of, guidelines yeah, than actually rules. a lot of rules. guidelines. And then what I found out when I got there, all those out the window. <laughs> I looked around. The, all the chicks were dressed like they were yeah, the, in the West, hanging all over you and <laughs> yeah, you know, drunk in public. All you know, of it, shoulders uncovered, wear a short skirt, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. Like, okay, this is all right, that's right, cool. Um, and then I was like, wait, I, 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 I saw bars, I saw them listed, but I'm like, are, what? You know, are the drinks watered down? Mm -hmm. Or like, what are they? Are you know, are they only open certain hours? Um, is it cool to even go? And so I'm at this like cowboy bar, and like everyone's <laughs> having a good time. I get there, I find my friends like, hey, what's up? Shot, shots of tequila, everybody? I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll buy the first round even. So 11 shots. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, yeah, we're pounding Pound them. Pound tequila, we're, yeah. We're, we're, we're dancing. I'm like, I'm looking around. Like it looked like a like a club here. Right. And I'm like, this is not what I thought yeah, this it was going to be like. And I'm here <laughs> for it. I like it, yeah. man. I like it. And I can then, live here. This is amazing. Yeah, so I don't want to leave. <laughs> so we're hanging out. Then like these Saudi chicks come over, we're, like mm -hmm. dancing with them. And like we're making friends. I'm like, this is awesome. Oh, man. Uh, but one of the girls was like, yeah, I'm dancing with her. And she, yeah, and, and she points over. There, there's like a balcony and then there's more seating over there. Mm -hmm. She points over like, oh, yeah, that, uh, that's my husband over there. I look over. He does not look happy. I I'm bet. Like, oh, uh, okay. I that's bet. your husband. Yeah. I'm like, I, hi. <laughs> all right. Great, great meeting you. So I, I back off. I'm like, I don't <laughs> – he did not look happy. So. I'll bet. Yeah. Yeah. Quiet. She's like grinding against you. She's like twerking not against quite. you. It's like, this is my, my husband's over there. It's like, whoa. Not quite. Okay. But, well, know, no, listen, yeah. we don't know who she, she can keep her anonymity. Yeah. But man, that was, <laughs> but that's that, uncomfortable. Was, that was awesome, man. Like, that's really cool. Partying in Dubai, man. Booze wise. Yes. Now, is, do they have everything we have here? Like what's the, what's the, what are the uh, most prominent was, kind of alcohol? They have tequila, obviously. Like do they have yeah, whiskey? They have, they have, they have vodka, liquor. They yeah. Have, it was yeah. mostly liquor. I didn't see a lot of beer out there. I don't, hmm. I don't even know if I drank one beer out there. Huh. Like I didn't see like Bud Light or, or yeah, I don't, I, I mean, obviously Europe, they, you know, it's think, a big thing, but. Yeah, maybe all, maybe it's, it's not it's like out there. all imported. I mean, there's mm -hmm. certainly no distillers or breweries there. So, right, right. Yeah, but but they get they get all the standard like alcohols. Oh like yeah, 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 yeah. They get all yeah, the liquor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, vodka. Uh, yeah, Patron. Like yeah. all the major brands. Yeah. For okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. Well, again, it's a city, so you would think so. But like, I don't know if everything's available region wise. I kind of don't know how stuff like that breaks yeah, down. Yeah, but it, yeah, I don't you know, remember. I the world. really, I don't remember seeing any beer. Any beer though. Like, That's interesting. Hard seltzers, but mm. liquor though. But liquor, liquor flowing like water. Nice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. So, that yeah. Sounds like a blast. Yeah, they, they had it all out there. I think I think I drink mainly cocktails out there. May mm -hmm. have had a glass of wine somewhere. Yeah, I can imagine bar, they have wine maybe. and champagne and all that too. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, alcohol-wise, it, it's there. It's, yeah. 
So, you know, the, the takeaway from Dubai, it's a westernized country. Uh, yeah, it sounds like it. Their major uh, cash cow, besides oil, mm. is tourism. And ah. where do all the tourists come from? They're from Western states True. or European countries. Mm -hmm. What are Europeans and Westerners like to do? Like to drink. Right. Yeah, so they do. They, in in cowboy-themed bars. Yeah, so, <laughs> so all of that is very relaxed. So, nice. Yeah, I think That's still cool. the, like, don't be, like, blackout drunk on the streets. Like, that, that, yeah. that'll probably get you uh, locked up somewhere. Yeah, but. yeah, you'll be, you'll be drying out somewhere in yeah. a Dubai prison. But with that said, I kind of liked it. So I, I remember I was in line for more chai tea, mm -hmm. and I was going to buy food. And it was like 1, 1 in the morning. It was cool that we were by like the the, the ocean or whatever, mm -hmm. and you know it's a long line of locals and it, like it's really nice out, but no one's a drunk asshole in this line. Ah, oh, awesome! Like you ever been to awesome? Know, yeah, yeah. I, I uh, say a Jersey Diner at two thirty in the morning. Oh God, yeah. Or, yeah, that's all you get are people who just left the bar. Or, or I hop on Route thirty seven and times. Oh <laughs> right, yes, yes, yeah, exactly. All the motherfuckers leaving Seaside yep. or drunk off their yeah, ass. Or like oh, God. bar A or whatever. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or P PTSD. Yeah, or Ooh. if you're from a southern state, Waffle House, like that's that's a <laughs> yes, mess, man. Yes, that's a mess. None of that. And I was like, wow, I kind of like this. Everyone's calm, orderly, mm -hmm. not a drunken asshole. People can handle their high, out right? There, and that's because they don't, you know, because yeah. they don't drink to that because they know they could get in trouble. Right. That I imagine could, that. Yeah, that yeah. I could I could get behind. Yeah. Same. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah. I can't stand the people. They out of control, drunk right. assholes. Like, yeah. get your buzz on. That's fine, but handle. Your buzz. Right, exactly. That's, a, that's my thing anyway. Yeah. Don't be an asshole. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. So, that, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, next day, I, I did go sightseeing, go, went to this place called the Dubai Mall. It's mm. this crazy nine story mall. Wow. With, it's a waterfall in there. And, and um, yeah, but I didn't it's find, westernized, all right. Like every luxury brand mm -hmm. is in there multiple times. <laughs> I was like, do you need three Dior places in there? I was like, yeah, I guess they do. Uh, apparently. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah but it was, uh, yeah, I hung out there for, for a little bit. Um, yeah, people like, should buy anything. I was like, I can buy Nikes at home. Like there, yeah. it's more of a thing, you know. They, yeah, it's, I it's learned. more novelty, I'm sure. Yeah, there. I learned they love Michael Jordan there. Oh my God. Really? He's, like, he's, he's a god out there. Like everything, anything that has a Jordan logo on it, Jumpman, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. the shoes, like they'll overpay for it. So, wow. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, and the interesting thing, and it's weird because I, and not to make some kind of social statement, sure. but you, you've been around everywhere. You've been obviously all around the US and you've been to, now, so, as yeah. far reaches as Dubai. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, and I just, it's, I think people understand on a logical level, but I don't think they like really understand it. People are all the same. Oh yeah. They sure. really are. Like everybody, you know, they, they want to work, they want to pay their bills, they want right. to take care of their family, yeah, they, they want to have, have some money time. left over to have fun. Exactly. They have a good time. But in general, it's like, you know, like I, I remember seeing the, um, the doc, this excellent doc about um, Billy Joel when he played in Russia uh, in the late eighties. And he was talking about, you know, we at the time we grew up in the 60s and everything. It was yep. like this Russia, they want to, they all want to kill us and they want, you know, they hate sure, Americans sure. and blah, blah, blah. And then he goes over and plays Russia. He's like, oh, no, they're like us. They're working people. And yeah. like, they like, they like rock and roll they, and they, they want to come out to a concert. They just want to hear Uptown Girl. Like, exactly. Very, yes. That's and simple. That's, and, and, but that's everywhere. Like that really is just most of humanity on earth. Right. Like there, there are, you know, pockets of extremism yep. everywhere, even, in, you know, in our backyard, sure. unfortunately. Everyone just wants to have fun, really. Yeah, but and, everyone's, uh, yeah, like and, and, on a human level, yeah. everyone's very much the same. Yeah. Which own, own I, cool stuff here and there, have, you know, a couple of luxury items. And, yeah. And yeah. it's just like, they, you know, they want to work and they want to, you know, feel some kind of fulfillment and yeah. take care of their loved ones and pay their bills. Like, yeah. you know, people are just all the same. It's something that I just feel like, I don't know that anyone understands, but since you've been, again, all over this country yeah. and internationally now, that's kind of that's the way things are. Yeah, I think it's. Just, I, I just think that needs to be emphasized because people, you know, have a view, you know, on whatever their particular bubble is. Oh yeah, for but sure. all I found is just like no, even people. You know, we have very mixed bag culturally here in Jersey, right. and you know, again, I've just found everyone's kind of the same. Yeah, yeah. So was, I think that's yeah. important. Yeah, it was fun. So um, it's very fun. Yeah, try to go up to the uh, the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building right. in the world, and I thought it was like, all right, you go in, pay, you know, whatever the fee is, and go up. Right. But they they sold time slots. Oh, really? And um, as it got closer to sunset, mm -hmm. the prices went way oh, I'll up. Bet. Oh, bet. So man. it was, they have dynamic pricing there. So the more desirable the time slot is, mm -hmm. the more expensive it is. <laughs> Most of them were sold out. And so I looked at it and I was like, all right, it's a tall building. I'm sure the view is great. Right. But I got better things to do. Yeah. So, yeah. So I didn't, I did not go to the top of the Burj Next Khalifa. time. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, you know, maybe depending. one day. Yeah. If there's a group on and you can get in close to sunset, yeah. <laughs> taking the view. 
Yeah, but my friend who had, I had met out there, she's like, hey, I got a better idea. There's this thing called the Dubai Frame. It's basically, it's a frame-shaped building. Mm-hmm. Technically, it's a frame. So they, they're like, this is the biggest frame in the world. I'm like, okay, cool. So in that one, you, you go in, you go up, and then you can walk across, and then you go down the other side. It's literally mm-hmm. a rectangle, nice. but like gigantic. <laughs> it's all like gold. So yeah, it was pretty awesome. Oh, and man. then on the top, that walkway, it's a glass floor. <laughs> oh, so you can walk above the frame. Based, well, I mean, as sure. you're going, you know, it's covered. Right. It's covered, but yeah, you're still, it's a glass floor. So you're looking down, it's like, whoa. Yeah, we're that's hot. trippy. But it's like, you're like 300 feet up or whatever. So Ooh. yeah, I know. It was, it was cool up there. <laughs> Just thinking about that. It was cool up there. Um, yeah, made it back to that speakeasy, mm-hmm. went to that Red Monday. Yeah, it was a good day. Uh, <laughs> went, to, uh, went to a comic shop, went to a comic book shop. Really? Did they have yeah. all the same stuff? They, I mean, it's they, pretty Western. This dude so. had like a vault, like a legit vault with the the, the hand, like the old handle and everything, <laughs> like an old bank movie. Yeah, <laughs> inside like he moves. had like, oh, this you know we have we have a great copy of Spider Man number one. We got yeah, they, we had like every key issue in there. So it really, was, yeah, that part was cool. Oh, dude, yeah. So shout out to Speedy Comics. So yeah, yeah, man. It was cool. That sounds like a great time. It's fun. It's really great. Like five days, like four or five days in Dubai. And you made your flight Monday night. I did. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got you got to do it all yeah. basically, except the tallest building. But you know, I, overall, uh, I yeah, you it did was fine. Good. I think I had some good stuff for sure. Definitely. Some good shit. Hawaii too. You, was that your first time? You just came back from Hawaii. I literally just What's got it? back two weeks ago. Right. Uh, second time. Second, yeah, second time. time. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been there in 20, like 22 years, 21, 22 really? years. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So first time as a, at a con, though. Like oh, as a yeah. guest well, at a yeah, con. Not only say. that. So, uh, yeah, I went to uh, the island of Kauai for a con. Wow. Uh, Kauai, the Garden Isle. Mm-hmm. Uh, in my opinion, the best island in the, the Hawaiian island chain. Now, granted, nice. I've only seen... Honolulu for a couple hours. I was mm-hmm. in for a layover, went to Pearl Harbor. Mm. I haven't seen the other islands, but uh, it's like the probably the least developed one. So oh, yeah? you know, there's okay. still a lot of like you know wildlife, mm-hmm. uh, waterfalls, like great hiking, like all oh, that. Oh, cool. So, so still pure, <laughs> basically. <yeah. laughs> uh, so I'd met the promoter of this convention mm. at San Diego Comic-Con uh, back in 2019. Ah. Um, he was a fan of the show. Uh, came to my table, and so you know, we started talking about the show. I was like, oh, man. He, he gave me a box of macadamia nuts. He was like, hey, I'm from, I'm from Hawaii. I was like, dude, you flew all the way out here for San Diego? I was like, yeah, yeah, man. I love going to all these conventions, man. And we talked for a while. And then at the end, he was like, hey, I started at Comic-Con in Kauai. Here's my card. Would you ever consider coming? <laughs> like, Would I? <laughs> which the way he phrased that was like hilarious. Mm-hmm. Right. It's more like, hey, you're cool. You're coming. Like yeah, that totally. would like, Yeah. Because there's no way you say no to that. Of course. And would you uh, consider – that's a very humble like yeah. way to go about it. It's just like, would you consider coming to my yeah, convention Yeah, and again, like Kauai? Kauai, like I was just so dumbfounded. I'm like, dude, if you really – if you're serious, of course I'll come. Yeah. I, like I, I'm committing right now <laughs> to coming. He's like, well, you know, I'm throwing one next year. Mm-hmm. You're, I'm putting you on the guest list. Like let's, you know, let's talk on the uh, – leading up to that. But, mm-hmm. but uh, I would love for you to come. And, and I was like, all right. This, if it happens, great. Yeah. Not – no big deal. You know, right. like because that's a – Yeah. Uh, but sure enough, he starts planning, he starts planning, <clears throat> and he was like, hey, we set the date, I want you to come. And, and I'm like, awesome. I look at the date, it's conflicting with a pretty, another large event. Mm. So uh, the Tell Him Steve Dave podcast that ah, I mentioned earlier, right. they're celebrating their 10th anniversary. They're mm. doing a very big live show in Asbury Park. Uh, and, okay. you know, and they want me, you know, I'm, poor, I'm part of the show. Yeah, yeah. They, they want me. They want me to be there. It's the same day though as Kauai. And so it's a, it's conflict. It's yeah. struggle. It's like, yeah. do, I, do, I, do I go to Hawaii? This might be my Do I ditch my, my only, friends or do I go to, <laughs> go to Hawaii? Or... This might be my only chance to get back there. You know, but regardless of that, it's a paid trip to, to Kauai. Or do I lo- does my loyalty lie with my friends who, you know, right. they had me on this major podcast. Now they – they beat me up. They beat me to shit on this podcast. They <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a whipping boy on that Mercilessly on that. But, you know, it's a pretty big milestone. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, crap, what do I do? And so, you know, after a while, I hit up the promoter. I was like, dude, I don't want to tell you this. But I don't think I can go this year. I'm on this podcast. They're doing a live show, 10th anniversary. They need. They want me there. I, you know, I, I think I should, you know, kind of show loyalty to my friends. And the guy's like, "Wait, tell him Steve, Dave, mm-hmm. the tenth anniversary show." I was like, "Dude, go! You need to be there. I'm a fan. <laughs> I love that podcast. I love the way they beat up on you, dude. Go, go, go there. I'll invite you the next year. No problem." I was like, Whew. 
Sweet. Thank God, man. Yeah. Now, as it turned out, neither of them happened because it was 2020. Right. It was going to be in April. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but, you know, long story short, uh, the island finally opened up to events. And so 2023 was a year. Invited, booked a flight. And, uh, yeah, I just got back there. So it was their, it was their second show that they've thrown. But it was also the second comic con ever on the island of Kauai. So, wow. So they made – it was historical. They made some histories there for sure. But um, – Nice. Yeah, the promoter, great guy. All the family came out to, to help out. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, that you know, the cornerstone of most conventions is like vendors. Yeah, people right. selling pop culture related items. And uh, they came out in full force. Uh, even if they weren't from that island, they they island hopped over from Oahu, mm. next island over, which is bigger, and they have shops there and mm-hmm. like yeah. So they came over to sell stuff at the convention. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. They had artists, guest artists from what abroad cool, and yeah. in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. So it was it was a le- not only was it a legit con. Like I was like, all right, this small island, second year show. You know how many people are going to show up? Right. I yeah you know, I couldn't tell. Usually you can go on social media and see the chatter, but mm-hmm. you know there there you know there's chatter, but not not a ton. But uh, yeah, I mean thousands of people came out. It was it was wow. amazing. It was pretty nice. cool. A lot of comic book men fans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was amazing. They're like, hey, will you host the cosplay contest? Um, you know, will you moderate a panel? So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, of course I did all that, and it was held at a, at a resort in Kauai, oh, so that was cool. I mean, everything about so, that sounds yeah yeah, yeah. it was awesome. <laughs> And, uh, you know, they kept it small, second year, one-day show. But by oh, the okay. crowd reaction, I was like, dude, you might have to go to two days, man. You might have to go Saturday, Sunday next time. I so, think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got thousands of people showing up, totally. Yeah, it looked like you did, you know, very well. Everyone had a good time. I think everyone, you know, sold stuff. Mm-hmm. Made, you know, again, made new friends. Yeah. Had a great experience. Yeah, it was cool. And then he was like, hey, I know it's a one-day show. Can you stay for three days? You know, come out early. Do You know, Sightsee, whatever you need to get settled or not, mm-hmm. stay at the resort, hang out and by the pool, hang out, yeah. drink my tires, get some sun. <laughs> whatever you need to do. But you know me, I don't stay at the hotels. So of course I go not. Out and no. I explore Even if they have my tires, you're like, I'm going to go out yeah. and see what's what's doing in Kauai. Yeah, but you know, friends came out too, mm-hmm. so you know, I, it, it was great. It was awesome. I just my only regret was I I didn't I, I couldn't spend more time there. You know, I had right, to get well. back. I you know busy schedule. Um, and then what I didn't account for was. Six hour time change. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. Oh, that's a long time, and then you know flying back. You know it basically. You know you're. It, it's two days getting home basically. Be, yeah, so, pretty much. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah, the three hours used to mess me up. Right. Flying Six back and is forth through lot. California. Six. It's a big change. Well, that's even nine lot. hours through Dubai, just completely. Because then the other direction, right? Yeah. They're nine hours ahead. Yeah. Whereas yep. in Kauai, they'd be six hours behind. Yep, exactly. So it's so like it was yeah. It, yeah. it messes with you for a while. It does, biologically, yeah. It takes a couple of days to come yeah, out. Jet yeah. lag is real. Yeah. Especially as you get older. Jet yeah. lag definitely is a thing. That yeah. Now, the best part of where we are, you know, pretty nice nice resort, four mm-hmm. or five-star resort. Uh, shout out to the Royal Sinesta in Kauai. But within walking distance was this place I had read about called the Nawili Willy Tavern. <laughs> I'm listening. That, um, immediately, it's got dive bar written all over it, and that's, ex- that's exactly what it was. It was Kauai's locals only dive bar. Awesome. And, you know, I read stories like the guy who ran the place didn't like Taurus <laughs> or just really just didn't have a, tol- a general tolerance for idiocy, basically. Well. Uh, but that was cool. I met, you know, the bartenders there. They were cool. Mm. Uh, met the guy who owned it. His reputation did live up to that. <laughs> so I didn't, I, you know, I know how to not act like an idiot in that mm, bar. Yeah, yeah. But there are other people that, uh, you know, he was yelling at and th- he throwing out. and you know, Nice. But I met, yeah, I met locals. It was it was pretty cool. Uh, one night I was there and in walks in the waitress who had served us earlier that night mm-hmm. at the local, the place we ate. So I was like, cool, this is the, this is the industry place where right. they come afterwards. I was like, wait, you, you dinner? She's like, yeah, you were, thanks for the, you know, you, you were great. It was mm-hmm. awesome. So yeah, let's have a drink. Tequila yeah, shots. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess she was there quite often. They they knew and loved her there. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I got her story. Um, I was like, wait, I detect an accent. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, I moved here from Romania years, like years ago. Wow. I think she was there like 10, 12, you know, maybe more years. And mm-hmm. she said, stay. Her her 23-year-old son was there. He's a musician. Mm-hmm. So talking, buying each other drinks. Mm-hmm. And then a little bit in, she's like, hey, me and my, friend, other, me and my friends are going to this other place. You want to come? I'm like, I, I, yeah, I don't have a ride or anything. I guess I could maybe, is there an Uber right now? Like mm-hmm. I'll be over there. No, no, no. Hop. 
my friend's driving. Hop in. We'll go over there. We'll get to my car and then I'll drive you over. Sweet. And, you know, it, that was fun. Except at one point she's driving the wrong way down a one-way street. I'm like, <laughs> what, what? It's like, no, no, no. We're good. We're good. I, ta- I drive this way all the time. I'm like, okay. We, I mean, y- you will until one time, but yeah. sure. <laughs> so we get this place. I think it's called WB's. I think it is in the nearby town of La Huy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we walk in there and, and it kind of looks like a club, but it looks kind of like a, there are tables. And I'm like, hey, what? Is this a club? She's like, well... It's a hot pot joint by day, but they uh, on the weekends they move all the stuff over. Mm-hmm. They get a DJ and they turn into a club. I'm like, oh, that's cool because there, is, there isn't really a lot of nightlife in Kauai. Mm. And what nightlife there is is just converted restaurants for the most part where they – Got it. Some restaurant owners got smart. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, we got liquor license here. Technically, we could open this as a club. So, yeah, they do. I met met the Chinese uh, like owner of the place. Yeah, and it was cool. Nice. But at one point, I'm I'm there, and I, you know, there's like lasers and shit. And <laughs> like you, know, mm, mm. I'm like, how did I get here? <laughs> it's like, I truly, I honestly, don't know how this happened, but I'm, I'm here right. for it. I'm here for it. So. That's great, though. It's yeah. the, the the adventures cool. you end up in just from being yeah. open. You know? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, you know, she's gonna take me to like a slaughterhouse, but yeah, like, could you imagine? Yeah. All of a sudden, it turns into like one of those. Uh, you know, a mid two thousands uh, horror movies yeah, where you end up hostile, in, like hostile, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> where you end up like, yeah. oh, they're gonna turn me into bacon. Okay, yeah. this is bad. Yeah, so I end up at that tavern every night. You know, mm-hmm. I just went over for one, you know, one last one at mm-hmm. night. Um, I remember meeting this dude there the first night I was there, and I, I was kind of, oh, you live here? It's like, man, isn't it awesome? He's like, no, not really. So he was kind of <laughs> telling about his life. He had moved there. I was like, well, what do you do? Is like, when there's enough work, I'm a mechanic. I like working with cars. Mm. But typically there isn't enough work, so I'm a janitor by by day. Oh, okay. And I, in my head, I was like, well, all right, you're a janitor. Hopefully it pays decent. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, you're a janitor, but you're a janitor in Hawaii. It can't be that bad, right? Mm-hmm. But what I learned is like if your life sucks, mm-hmm. no matter where you are, it'll suck. It, it sucks yeah, it anywhere. Yeah. Like life sucks anywhere. <laughs> so remember that. I'll, you know, I, I, I hate to break it to you, but dude, if your life sucks in, like, sucks in Bangor, Maine, just because you moved to Hawaii or Dubai or wherever, yeah. it's still gonna it's 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 probably still gonna suck. So. Oh yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, that's another one of those L.A. lessons I yeah. learned so too. I gotta, you like, know, but uh, he was like, you know, I was like, he was like, you know, listen, it's not that bad, but it, you know, it could, you know, just because he, he reminded me, just because you're in Hawaii, like, you know, it's still it, it can still suck. So yeah, so I bought a shot of JMO, and you know, <laughs> that's how you forget for about twenty minutes for a little so. bit. Yeah, yeah, just be like, listen, buddy. Tonight we're having fun. Yeah. So good. Never mind your life sucking. Yeah. It'll be there tomorrow. Your sucky life will be there tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah, great, great trip though. I, I go back in a heartbeat. Cool. The con was very happy with my presence mm-hmm. and wh- whatever I did. It sounds like I'm getting invited back. Nice. Even. Yeah. So, I mean, as, as annual trips go, yeah, not too a, bad. Yeah, but quiet. The Comic Con was awesome. It couldn't have been better. And uh, so, yeah, big shout out to Aaron Yamasato and his family and his wife. Cool. It's great that he's a fan too. Like I'm, su- fan. I'm sure a lot of con- – well, some cons. I don't know if there's a lot or yeah, some. big fan. Many. And I knew he was but. cool. He came up and he was like, oh, I'm a filmmaker too. I was like, oh, oh man, cool. You know, filmmakers, filmmakers are cool. So, yeah. yeah, they are. Yeah. So big out, big shout out to Kauai Comic Con. Uh, cool. Hopefully I'll be for the be there for the third one, which would be awesome, which would be you know sometime next year, probably in April. Mm-hmm. So very cool. That is very and, cool. Um, and uh, yeah, the adventure continues. So, <laughs> in what what is today? The uh, we're doing this way in advance. This is going okay, up. Okay. Well, okay. Well, let's May twenty second. This is going up. Say so. in about ten days, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be in Alaska. <laughs> that we need to hear about because yeah. that's the first time, right? Never oh, yeah, been to Alaska. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, again, I'm at a convention. I think in Seattle. I met. Um, well, no, that's not true. Okay. I'm in Jersey, and I meet uh, my friends. Like, hey, I got a new roommate. I'm like, cool. Where's she? Where's she from? Where's she from? It's like Anchorage, like Alaska. It's like that's a big change. Yeah, Alaska to the Jersey Shore, so all the way to Jersey. Yeah, that's a that's yeah. A so we, we we meet her. Her name's Christine. I'm like Anchorage. I'm like that sounds cool. Like why Jersey? She's like oh you know I've been there for a while. I wanted a change. Mm. I'm like well you got gonna, one. You got one. <laughs> so we start talking and she and uh, the subject Comic Con comes up. Mm. She's like hey is there a Comic Con everywhere? I'm like yeah. I'm like, I, I bet I bet there's even one in Anchorage. And I look, and sure enough, there's one called Arctic Comic Con. <laughs> of course, of course and it is. I'm like Anchorage, dude. I would love to see where you just moved from. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see if I can get his convention. So I find out who runs it, and then I send a message on Facebook. I'm like, hey, in the future, please, can, please, uh, you know, put me in the 
you know, yeah, consider me as a, as a guest. Yeah. Uh, we end up meeting in Seattle. He comes down to a pretty big con called the Emerald City in Seattle. Right. Yeah. We end up meeting. We you know end, end up hanging out. Gives me his card, and then he's a uh, and he's like, hey, you know, next year I want you to come. I was like, oh, whoa, it's happening. Yeah. It's happening. I finally. Up, yeah. I hit up Christina. I'm like, dude, I'm going to your town, man. Like, finally. She's like, oh <laughs> man, I can't believe it's happening. So yeah. So that's in like ten days. That's awesome. That's yeah, so, be, I mean, hopefully it is. It sounds cool. No, I think it's going to be awesome. We'll see, yeah. it's, now it's our fourth year. It's got Arctic Comic Con. I'm going to be there with uh, Anthony Michael Hall. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Me, it's going to be me and him. <laughs> you know, we're going to have our own breakfast club, I guess. In I, I mean, Alaska. how can you not? Yeah. Uh, Chandler Riggs from Walking Dead is going to be there. Nice. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be fun. Who? I mean, you obviously hang out with Russ Marquand a lot. Um, yeah. Because you, you sure. guys are in cons together a we're lot. Cahoots, to be in the yeah. Circuit. Yeah. Who are your other favorites to see? Because you tend to see a lot of regulars at these events. Like yeah, who are the people yeah, you yeah. like seeing when you when you run into? Yeah, because for you sure, hang for out sure. with everybody. Um, I, I I just became friends with a guy named uh, Omid Abahi uh, Abtahi, who, if you're a geek, you may know as know as Doctor Pershing from The Mandalorian. Oh he's, yeah, he's got the wrong glasses. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, works yeah. For Whatever the Empire. I just finished. Yeah, Mandalorian. Last and he's night, the actually. guy doing the trying. You know, you see him. Trying to do the medical experiments on Baby Grogu, right? And um, yeah, and then most recently he kind of had his own solo episode where you see a lot of his backstory. Yes, yeah, which is cool. That was uh, cool. Yeah, I just ran into him in uh, Hunter, Alabama. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sitting at this hipster coffee shop that I know about. <laughs> I'm like, and he walks by. I'm like, holy crap! And uh, we had met very briefly before in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But he's about to go and he looks over at me and I'm like, hey man! He's like, oh dude, what are you doing here? I'm like. What are you doing here? Nobody knows about this place. <laughs> Only cool people know about this place. You found it. Like this is a good sign. So mm -hmm. we always start talking, and uh, yeah, so we you know, we start hanging out. So he's he's a guy I think I'm going to see a lot. Like nice. I, he's a guy I think I can be like. He knows he can text me and be like, yeah. "Where are you?" I'm like, "I'm here. Come meet me." <laughs> and you both know the cool spots clearly because yeah, yeah, you yeah. found you know the right coffee yeah. shop in Huntsville. Yeah, or you know, be like, "Hey, what are you doing tonight?" Oh, I forgot about this. You know, this, I don't know, this Dungeness Crab place. Like, do you want to go? Like, he would probably come with me. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's cool, though, because um, at least it's familiar because you're going to places where, you know, some of them you've been to before. Yeah. But again, there's cons everywhere. Now the demand is just yeah. skyrocketed. Yeah. So and, it's uh, nice to at least see familiar faces. Yeah. And uh, lately, I'm running into uh, Joy Fatone and James Murray from NSYNC right. and Impractical Jokers, respectively. Mm -hmm. So they've been doing a lot of shows lately. So we'll pop up with the same shows. They're cool, you know. They're down to hang out wherever as well. So, right, um, that's cool. Yeah, they're they're a couple of cool guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty it's a pretty long list. So or a short list, long list. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to remember who else comes out with me. Mm. Uh, like Katrina Law from Arrow, she'll right? Come yeah, out hang, uh, which worked out. We got her on Comic Book Man. But, yes. Um, yeah, we're we're uh, you know we, I, I know she'll come and, and she's down to hang wherever, and you know obscure places. No chain restaurants, <laughs> dive bars, cocktail joints. Yeah, yeah, for right. sure. Uh, hipster so, coffee shops, yeah, all of those. Yeah, shops. it needs to be off the beaten path. All right, don't invite yeah. me to Fridays. He's not about it. Yeah, he wants no, to go out to, to. He wants to go where the locals go. Yeah, yeah. Which was nothing about Dubai. Every chain in America mm -hmm. is out there. I, oh, I'll every bet. chain. I'll bet. Yeah, I, I remember I was walking around that mall and, I was, and someone was like, "Hey, go check out the T Rex statue." I'm like, is it real? We're like, it it might be. They probably they have the budget to buy like a real. The one in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, kind right? T Rex. And I'm like, I'm walking. I was like, hey, do you know where the T Rex statue is? They're like, oh yeah, you go to the Cheesecake Factory. Walk through, and it's behind there. I'm like, Cheesecake. I was like, okay. <laughs> of course, they have Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, not only that, they love that shit out there, man. Oh, they love the Cheesecake Factory. So yeah, for whatever <laughs> reason. So yeah, it was, that was yeah, that was definitely fun. That's funny. Yeah, one of the big headlines. Which we couldn't talk about last year okay. when you were on the show, yes. but now we can because yes. it's it's been out for a long okay. time. You have gone from Clerks fan who built Clerks fan site yes. to being in Clerks three, right? Yes, yeah. So we we had to sit on that last year. We couldn't talk about it. I mean, obviously, yeah, we I'm, we, I'm, we knew about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm actually did it twice. But. So uh, if you watch Clerks three, the opening scene yes. uh, opens on the roof of the Quick Stop where a bunch of guys are playing hockey mm -hmm. uh, again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> iconic scene from the first Clerks, of course. And uh, so, great way to kick it off. Starts out and uh, starts out with My Chemical Romance Black Parade, which yeah. is awesome. Right. Yeah. Jersey Band. Yep. If you look on in there, there's a 
little Asian guy running around trash talking everybody, mm-hmm. flipping people the bird. Yeah. And, uh, Didn't you like blow someone a kiss too? Wasn't that's it me. That yep, kind of I, montage? Blew, I blew Dante a kiss. <laughs> so yeah, it's us against the Quick Stop crew, which right. is made up of Randall, Dante, Brian Johnson, and Walt Flanagan mm-hmm. versus you know me and a couple other dudes uh, right. from the Leonardo Reapers team, the <laughs> rival team. So right. yeah. So I got to play them. As you do in hockey, you trash talk. You intimidate the other team. Yeah, I got to do that. So that was cool. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And the original clerks, like, I love that scene. Mm-hmm. I love that scene. It's like, wait, they just close the store to play hockey on the roof? Mm-hmm. That's yeah, awesome. That's what everybody wants to do with their place of work is close it up so they can go do something cool. Go play <laughs> like the sports idea. or street hockey. Yeah, for Totally, sure. yeah. And I got to do it. So, yeah, that's that was awesome. cool. That now, in reality, if you freeze frame that scene and you look at that roof, mm-hmm. it's – like 10 by 10. It's so small. There's mm. no way you can play hockey up there. Yeah. No in, way. In reality. Yeah. That, no that way. Would be, everybody would be bumping into each other and just kind of like stick smashing yeah, against the, each the, other. The, you know, the ball would fly off the roof every every time you hit it. Yeah. Like, Any balls down there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. There, bum hole? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big experience sure. you ever seen? Dingleberry? Yeah. Man. No, that's that's yeah, so, so that cool. Was cool that, though, that, what, nice, nice circularity. Yeah. Even though, you know. Clerks 3 might not be the last one. I, I don't know anything. I'm just putting it out there. That I like, think Brian O'Hallon has, has suggested Force Ghosts. That's what I said yeah. on this show. Yeah. I, said, <laughs> I forget what I said. I'm like, why can't Dante be a Force Ghost? Spoiler right, if you haven't seen Clerks 3. Star Wars reference, which the movie's full of them. So, yeah. I mean, even if it just pops up in one scene for that. Right. But it's like you can just keep that going with a rotation yeah. of oh, yeah. people. You can still carry on and on with yeah. you know the stuff that goes on as a – as a form, I mean, look, they could always go back and do the cartoon again. I mean, I would, th- I don't know legally how that breaks down, yeah, but like I, I, that cartoon I, was so funny. I think funny. it'll happen. I think Clerks the Animated Series will come back. I hope so. In some form, somebody got it. Come on, Netflix, you got to deal with Kevin something to do with animation. Yeah, come I just on. feel bad. I believe that is just speculation. I mm-hmm. believe you know they're creating. They're like, okay, there are two people who want to air it. There's Cartoon Network mm-hmm. and there's ABC. Right, and. You know, ABC was like, hey, we'll give you a Super Bowl commercial to promote it. And they're like, all right, well, obviously we'll, we'll go that totally. way. Totally. And unfortunately, it didn't work out. Yeah. Um, you know, and I'm thinking, had they gone to Cartoon Network or Adult Swim? Yeah, but, yeah that, w- that would have been ahead of the curve because Adult Swim hadn't kicked off yet. Yeah. But that's where every – all these shows got yeah. trapped. That's where, you know, Family Guy and Futurama yeah, but, got second lives. Yeah, lives, but you know? in my mind, like, yeah, it, it, you know, they, they had – they're fu- just as funny – to be like a Rick and Morty or oh oh hell yeah, yeah those or, those episodes are, what I think there were twelve all in six. something like that they made six was it only six it was only that six. was a two disc set I thought it was way yeah. more than that maybe oh, might be eight I can't remember it might have been eight no let's say eight maybe. I had let's say eight, eight. sorry I mean, I'm we, six we don't have devices in front of us so we can look yeah. this shit sorry, up. sorry six anything, was but. comic book man I think they got eight okay if I'm not mistaken and only okay. two aired right and they aired out of order so <laughs> like it was. <laughs> ABC would clearly hit a point where like we want to kill this thing, mm-hmm. right? But you could do oh, so God, so much. You could do so yeah. much in that if they if yep. they did that as a cartoon. Just yeah. keep the clerks thing going because yep. it's it's evergreen. Because you'll always have people in their twenties working yep. shitty jobs yep. like that. So yep. honestly, like it's something yep. where you can always. I mean, look, I think the even, even if they brought it up to date or did some like you know uh, alternate timeline sure. kind of clerks animated Which series, they could. I love what they did with the revival of Beavis and Butthead. Oh, yeah. I think it's the best it's ever been. I mean, as of now, only two – the first two episodes are out for season two. But like this first season back from 2022, my favorite thing released in 2022. Oh, my God. I think – because they're doing the reactions to TikTok and YouTube videos aside from music videos. Yeah, Jersey Shore, like all that stuff. I'm like, this works so great. And they were just able to fast forward. Yep. So like these teenagers, you know, yep. via the movie right. um, are now in modern day. Yeah. And it works. Yep. It works so insanely well. Awesome. And I feel like you do something like that with Clerks because now – Oh, yeah. Because again, in show business, there has to be a reference point for it. Right. It's like, look what Beavis and Butthead did. Right. Now but, we got Dante know, Randall right. 70 to a wormhole in the freezer or something and yep. then <laughs> 2023. Yep. dimension, yep. But yeah, but they're still 22, you know. And it can work because it's animation. So nobody knows how you actually look. Yep, exactly. And uh, I think it'd be know, great. Written by Kevin Smith. Uh, you know, the, the former series was produced by Dave Mandel, who mm-hmm. produced Seinfeld. So, yeah. you know, obviously these are comedic geniuses. Totally. Bringing this. And I, I and I love the animated series. I do too. So I think damn funny. so many stories left to tell. I Either, think so. They barely, yeah, there must be stuff left on the table from back then, but just yeah. all the stuff you could do now. Yeah, and it's animated. So you do whatever you want. Exactly. It's awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, dude, I, I would love it. Yeah. I would love that. So I, I think it will come back. I think they just need the right person to green light it. It's like, wait, you guys never came back? Like, that cartoon was awesome. But mm-hmm. done, green lit. Let's do it. Yeah, exactly. Let's do 20 episodes on Adult Swim or whatever. Or totally. Netflix. Well, but that's the thing with, with this stuff being worldwide. In fact, what I didn't know, so um, as I was pulling 
clips for a fr- last week's guest, <laughs> my friend uh, Ugo, who came on the show, who was uh, who obviously is aware of you guys, but I sent him a couple of clips yep. specifically because I knew you were going to be here to engineer the show uh, from you and DMC. Right. And <laughs> when, um, um, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank. Who he, he freestyled? He came in and freestyled for the Aquaman. Oh, figure. Uh, Why am I drawing uh, a blank on who it is? Wu Tang. Uh, uh, Method Man. Method Thank you, Man. Method Man. Yes. Good God. <laughs> I'm thinking like. What's his name? I'm it definitely gen- wasn't ODB. I'm not a gentle man. I'm a method man. Yes. <laughs> yes. Him. See? Not, How not, can I forget? Wasn't ODB. You need a show for that. Yeah. yeah I was going to say. He's no longer with us. Yeah, he wasn't. Yes. That's the only reason I knew it wasn't him. But anyway. Uh, yeah. So I, I sent him some clips. So yeah, Comic Book Men is free on YouTube right now. I mean, sure, it's free yeah. with ads. I have premium, so I don't get the ads. But yeah, like, man. it's on there. It's on Prime. It's yeah. on AMC+. Plus. I mean, it, it's everywhere. So you don't know how far this stuff can reach. And that's right. the same with when it comes to streaming, when it comes to something like yeah. Works. I mean, we were um, back in Cape 219 in uh, November of last year. Uh, myself and Marvin Perdomo from Braver Studios were, were pitching Hot to Time Machine 3 because – Prime, <laughs> Amazon Prime owns MGM right. now. We're like, if you do Hot Tub Time Machine 3, everyone's going to watch. Complete the trilogy. Yeah. You know, close the loop. The, and ev- like everybody's going to watch. Everybody watched the Terrible Coming to America sequel. Not, not, not only that, the, writer, the writers are from New Jersey. So like literally right up the road. Oh, really? They all went to Middletown South. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. that's They're funny. literally like five miles from here. Small so. world. Really, yeah, really small world. Now they're busy with Cobra Kai season six right now. Yeah, they got some stuff going on. That's the last season. But that's it. Yeah, exactly. They're they're gonna be done. I I think there'll be another hot tub time machine. I think so. Well MGM that's the funny thing. Like Jersey's becoming aside from the the news of Netflix, which everybody felt that, you know, they're like, did you yep. see Netflix is coming to Fort Monmouth? I was like, yep. yes, I, I've been following it very closely. Well, yes. since yes, there were I whispers. Um uh, but MGM is building eight sound stages in Bayonne. Yep. All right, let's shoot Hot Tub Time Machine three in Jersey. Yeah. And, and use some local talent. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're gonna need content you know? too. So what? I yeah, I'm telling everybody, like, what have you got? Start, totally. Start and writing your pitches, man. You never know. Exactly. I and mean, the thing is, with streaming though, everybody's gonna watch, and that's what I meant. Like yeah. that was the point with Hot to Time Machine Three. I'm like, everybody who is Prime, like they're gonna yep. watch it because everybody's seen at least the first one. Yep. They can watch the second one because they tend to make right. like the whole catalog available when they do something like right. that. Um, and same with like a Clerks animated yep. series. Well, if you do a deal with you know Netflix or, or anybody, you know. Put them out yeah. and everyone's going to watch it. Totally. So I feel like stuff like that just stands so much more of a chance now because like that audience is going to show up and watch like crazy because you can't still get – who knew Comic Book Men had the reach it did in other I, parts of, of the I, world? So you know? I like going but, out. You never know. Exactly. You, you don't know. know. You never know who's watching. You never know you who's never listening. Know. But yeah, Hawaii, Dubai, uh, Alaska apparently. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm fun. telling you. Even when I went over for this show, it's just like what countries are big? Okay. It's the United States unsurprisingly. Yes. India is number two. Germany is number yeah. three. And well, it's like even even the UK and Canada were like top ten, but I figured they would have been closer because yep. I'm like, well, they're probably more right. reference points, yeah, and, you know, English language com- yep. countries. And wow. No, not so much. Wow. So you well, don't know. Thank you. We welcome you. Exactly. Yes. And welcome now you know. So next time Ming is in, in at uh, the a con in Dubai. Oh yeah. yeah possibly yeah, yeah. with a special guest. Yes. Then Cape, uh, Cape. we'll see. Dude, you, we could do a live cape from a con. That'd be badass. From India. That'd be so good. Why not? Sure. Why not? New Delhi. I like, mean, maybe uh, again. I don't know. It's a. It's a. Decent size, like the percentage, you know, I, I don't check the specific download numbers. Yeah. I literally just pulled it up just because we were cool. talking about it. That would be awesome, man. <sighs> there's some, there's some Cape podcast activity that's coming Cape up, podcast dude. Podcast in like Goa, like India. I'm telling you, I said, now see, you're on the road all the time anyway, so we would have to coordinate right. that we'd, we'd be in the same place yep. on the same weekend. But there's been this recurring talk about doing the Cape Road Show and actually going on tour for like a month. Hey, why not? I realized you'd be out on the road anyway, so we could coordinate like, oh, Ming is going to be in Toledo this okay, weekend. Let's okay, go to we Toledo, will do it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. okay, he'll be the guest because we have such a rotation of yeah, live you know, characters show from, on here. Uh, Tony Paco's Hot Dogs, man. Heck yeah, dude. See, he knows where to go. This I is do. what we're talking I about. Do. We're like, we're getting, we, we did this whole pitch. We're like, we'll get local, do. local celebrities yeah. and, and feature local stuff. Like, yeah. it'd be so much fun. I agree. So that's going to happen. Look, I'm, I'm not saying it's going to happen in 2023, but 2024 is yep. highly possible. Yeah. Or, you know, Sayreville, Edison, Woodbridge, even here. There could very okay. well be a local something. Yep. Uh, we know somebody who has some association with a local movie theater, so never yep. know. There's that. <laughs> there could be some events that, going on. Sure, yeah. But uh, it's never know, everybody. You never, you never know. know. You never nope. know. You might get invited to Hawaii or Dubai. You never know. Or Alaska. Yeah. You never know who's listening to your show, who's watching your show. So, so do it. Yeah. That's what you're saying. You never know who's going to find your fan site. Exactly. You know, which, okay, one last thing. Okay. And then I'll let you go. Okay. Because we did, we've we referenced it, but we didn't actually talk about okay. it. Okay. How did you being, being, let's say, a featured extra right. in one of the uh, most critical, and I mean that in a visual sense, scenes in Dogma, right. 
how did that happen that you ended up being front row to watch Salma Hayek dance around? Uh, well, Cause you were just an IT guy at, at the I time, did. right? Uh, I got started working with Kevin in 96, right. uh, built this whole internet presence, mm-hmm. uh, kind of launched his social media before there was any social media. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, he was like, Hey, I'm, I'm shooting this next movie. I want you. I want you in it. Can you make it to Pittsburgh mm. two days from now? I'm like, to be in the movie? Yeah. Or j- I just want to watch. Yeah. I just I would love to watch you work. He's like, no, no, I'll put you in the movie. I'm like, okay. So I make it to Pittsburgh. So you didn't know what you were going to be doing when he asked? No. Okay. No. But they're, uh, you know, the movie people are like, hey, bring like a suit or, you know, like a business attire. Mm. I'm like, okay. And he gives me the address and I pull up and it's this really run down divey ass former strip club. <laughs> And again, there is introduced me, and uh, I, I was like, "Cool, man, what's so what? What? Uh, where, where you put me? Did you throw me in the background or something? Cool, man, I get to be in a Kevin Smith movie." He's like, "Oh no, 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 I got I got better plans for you." <laughs> I'm like, "What's up?" He's like, "Well, you know, the scene takes place at a strip club. I want you sitting next to me and Jay as Jay and Silent Bob." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Cool, man, I get to be in a scene with Jay and Silent Bob." Put you right up front, and uh, so the scene goes. Uh, you know, Linda Fiorentino and Chris Rocker to come in. They have some lines. Mm-hmm. And then Salma Hayek's gonna come off, come out and take her clothes off, and I'm like, whoa! I was like, well, Wait, what? Did, what? So what? Do you have any direction for me? He's like, yeah, she's gonna <laughs> try not out. to drool. <laughs> she's gonna take a, come out, take her clothes off. I want you to act like you're enjoying this. <laughs> really? I'm like, ooh, I don't, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm yeah, telling no. you, like, I gotta, like, dude, course, I gotta find like, my motivation. Yeah, I gotta go full method on this. Uh, you know, what's my motivation? Why am I here? Yeah. Why do I like this? <laughs> yeah, no. So I was like, dude, I got this. I got this. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you watch the scene, I have the biggest shit eating grin on my face because I'm having a good time. As would any and, red blooded male. Yeah, and the, it was, it wasn't a body double or anything. They couldn't afford that. It was her. She came out. <laughs> she and came I, out for scale. She took her clothes off. Yeah, and <laughs> and uh, you, know, you know, before she she was like, hey, this is this is my friend Ming. He's going to be in the scene. And I'm mm-hmm. like, hello, Ming. How are you? Yeah, it was mm-hmm. great, man. It was and you're awesome. just like. Hey. With that, so she was speak. there. I got to meet Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was great. What a great day awesome. to like a day to be on set. Aside from like, no, I'm yeah, in a it, scene. it took two days to shoot that. Oh, what a drag! So I got to be Poor there for thing. two days. It was fun. I think my favorite part of shooting that was I got mm-hmm. to meet all the cast and crew. Totally got to hang out with them for two days. Did you get per diem or no? No per diem, but the nah. kick was uh, at, at two weeks later. I got a check in the mail. I got paid. Really? Ah, I got nice. paid. <laughs> you got paid, got paid to watch Sama Hayek's strip. Yes, I did. Movies, what, a, what a life this guy's had, yep, man. The, the Movie flick, magic. Yep, the flicks, man. They're awesome. <laughs> They're awesome. So, yeah, that was fun. Pays to have generous friends. That was fun. I'll say so, that. That's it was great. funny. People still ask me, hey, man, is Kevin going to put you in his next movie? It's mm-hmm. like, Kevin owes me nothing. <laughs> put me in right? Dogma, put me in Clerks 3, mm-hmm. got me on TV. Like, I, yeah, I owe the man big time for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah whatever, like, he whatever, he doesn't need to do anything. He's whatever done plenty. He needs from me, he'll get it for totally. sure for life. So, love for it. sure. Yep. I love that so much. That makes me happy. Yeah. I've been meaning to ask you about that because I've been wondering. Yep. We, we've yep. referenced it many times. Oh, yeah. Never actually knew how it yep. played out. That was it. He just asked me to come down. I showed up, put me in the best scene in the movie. In my <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Listen, if I had to be there on any one day, yep. that would have been it. Or two yep, days as it sure. turned out. What a yep. drag. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, to follow Ming Chen's continuing adventures, you can follow him on the socials at Ming Chen 37. Check out what's going on on Instagram. Again, every weekend he's at a con. So yep. you can, if you don't follow him during the week, that's fine. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, make sure you're following him and watching yeah, his stories. And, and chances are I'm coming to your town. There's that. Yeah. So, so if there's a convention in, in your state, yes. somewhere in your state, Come he'll down, be there. Say hello. Tell me you love the Cape podcast. That's right. Chris Please Powell's do. Podcast experiment. And yes. be like, bring him with you next time. And he'll yep. be like, all right, I guess. I'm like, I think he's available. Like, he's totally available. Yeah. So I have not been to India before. Let's work on that. If you're that big there, let's go. <laughs> I mean, go. you never know. Dude, I, you never know. I believe There's... there are several conventions there. Let, I'm working on it. Let's work on it. You, reach is a funny thing. I'll yes, say that. I'm, I'm not saying anything too much, but it's yeah. it's interesting how much things can spread and you don't realize how recognizable things are. So right. I'm just saying, uh, maybe I'm manifesting it, that it'll happen. But I think we are. It, it could happen. Yeah. It could happen. Yeah. You never know. Life's a funny thing. And of course, you can follow me on, let's see, Twitter and TikTok at Chris Abalo. And with Start As A Joke has stuck, Chris sells out on Instagram. <laughs> and uh, of course, follow the show at Kate Pod on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Subscribe to the show wherever you you get your podcast, subscribe on YouTube, so you can watch full video episodes every single Monday. I love you, Ming. I do. I appreciate I you, you so too, much. You've friend. been so supportive of this show, Always and the show is going cheers. because Cheers. you got the studio going. Yep. So thank you so much. For sure, man. 
Always, always, always a pleasure. On. Yep. Thank you. Dude, thank you. So until next time for Ming Chen, this is Chris Abalo and this was yet another experiment. <laughs>